have doubts yes. or something? Yes, no, you don't need to have doubts. It's wonderful. What I would suggest is let it go beyond the bounds of your body and mind. Mm. Let that go out to others. Good. So try to make that a gift that you can give to others so they can feel good about themselves, feel content. And you don't necessarily have to give that gift with words. Sometimes maybe you will. Other times you model it because your joy and your contentment will increase tremendously the more love and compassion you practice. We say the practice of love and compassion is win-win. It means that the other person, if you're skillful, feels happy and well, and they receive uh, the love and the guidance. And by you giving, you also receive uh, that love and that joy. So both people feel better. Therefore, we call it a win-win situation. And if you find, if you find, there's a little bit of elevated ego, like I'm pretty good feeling, then also try to reduce that a little bit, not to say I'm no good, I'm not enough, but rather just to say, I'm like everybody else. So when we reduce our ego, we're developing more humility, becoming more humble. And some people think that's weakness, but that's wrong. Humility is strength and courage, tremendous strength and courage. Uh, look at Dr. Martin Luther King. Look at uh, President Nelson Mandela. Look at Mahatma Gandhi. Look at uh, Mother Teresa. Look at His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Incredibly humble people, but very strong and very courageous. So I have an apology. <laughs> it seems that many people are crying as we're walking, and I apologize for that. I don't. <laughs> Actually, it's a half apology because I think it's healthy. Also, if something is hitting and you have tears, it's very beautiful to allow that to allow the tears to come. It's very beautiful. I think bodhicitta and Catholicism are very, very close. Some of the most compassionate action people I know are Catholics, particularly liberation theologists in South America. Do you know this? Liberation theologists in South America, Catholic. They're, mostly they're Jesuit. Jesuit. Yes. Mostly. I'm going to teach you a new English word. It's called cat boo. Cat boo. Cat boo. It means someone that's Catholic, but has some connection also with Buddhism. So they shorten it and they say cat boo. Cat boo. Yeah. And how do you say? Kabul. Kabul. Ka, ka, bul, yeah, kabul. Very nice, kabul. very nice. Um, it doesn't matter the tradition. What matters is the purity of heart. The purity of heart. I, I, I don't know you very well, but um, my feeling is don't worry too much. Um, so my feeling is, I may be wrong, because I don't know you very well, but my feeling is the arrogance is not a huge problem. On that piece, on that part, please also be gentle with yourself. Please don't be too hard on yourself. If you think that there's arrogance, you can work on it, but also be gentle with yourself, please. I think this post-work, so-called retirement, it's not really retirement, but so-called retirement has been wonderful for you because you're 
recognizing and acting to help others. And before retirement, it sounds like you did that much less. So I want to congratulate you. And do please remember uh, when we talked earlier about the difference between empathy and compassion and try to move. If you find that you're taking on the pain of others, then try to move from empathy to compassion by taking a half step back emotionally, not being so close to the other person. Uh, emotionally to take a half step back. Mm -hmm. If you find that you're taking on other people's pain mm -hmm. and practicing empathy, mm -hmm. we want to shift mm -hmm. to compassion. Okay. And the way we do that mm -hmm. is we emotionally step back a half a step. The heart is still open, mm -hmm. but we're not right on top of the other person. Okay. And please be gentle with yourself. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we'll take one break. Yeah, please, yeah, yeah. please keep practicing what you're doing. Wonderful.